So we've got the unboxing complete. We did the ran through the uh, setup routine. We did the Wi-Fi, uh, set the uh, account information, time zone, etc. And now on to see what the sort of the first uh, usage experience looks like. Starts up. Uh, looks like I've got a kind of an overlay here with um, some tips on usage, etc. Kind of handy how the books are going to get laid out um, on the screen, sort of this, uh, this carousel format, where the settings are located, of course the home button, and what's nice I think you know as an Android user is that um, a lot of this is pretty intuitive. I mean the location of a home button down here is uh, pretty standard and um, I've got a feeling that uh, using it's going to be pretty pretty straightforward. So jumping right in, got um, just your basic uh, home screen with newsstand. Um, I'm assuming I can flick through these like that, and sure enough, I can. Um, down below, of course, you know various services: Amazon, Pulse, IMDb, Facebook. Just to kind of uh, kind of get things started. I'm sure this is all completely customizable. I'm just going to run through a few of the um, navigation options just to see what it looks like. And I haven't been a Kindle user in the past, so I'm not really sure how uh, much alike or different um, this really is from the, um, the Kindles uh, in the past. I don't have anything on my newsstand, so of course that was blank. Uh, books, uh, a couple of them there. Uh, Data-driven marketing. Sounds exciting. And uh, the Oxford American Dictionary. I'm not sure exactly when I bought these, but I guess I did buy them at some time in the past. Again, I haven't been a real active uh, um, Amazon book uh, Kindle um, customer, but um, I got a feeling that might change as uh, as time goes on. This looks like a lot of fun. And then music, I expect I don't have any of that, although I might have bought some at some point. Um, shop the music store. Okay, so that's our call to action. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to kind of run through the top navigation for everybody. Um, videos. Pretty standard layout these days. You know, it looks a lot like what you'd see on uh, Netflix or uh, any of the other kind of uh, movie um, services. I've got to say, I don't know if the video is going to show it, but the quality of the screen is just phenomenal. It's so clear. It it looks like a a framed uh, print. I mean, the uh, the anti-aliasing on the fonts and just even the font selections themselves really superb the color saturation is just fantastic and this is right out of the box I haven't done any configuration whatsoever and then what else do we have we've got docs there's something there from the past I guess uh, apps this is something I'm expecting to be fun I, I don't know if the first Kindles had apps I don't think they did uh, and if they did certainly um, uh, I would guess not the breadth of apps that um, we're going to find um, on the on this new device. So that should be a lot of fun too. And then finally, um, this is probably a web browser. I would guess, yeah, it's a web browser, and it's got a bunch of pages kind of preloaded. Um, you know, pretty much what you'd expect as uh, kind of likely favorites, um, including Facebook, Wikipedia, and the um, Performance is actually pretty snappy. It's pretty darn good because um, this machine's never been used, and it's you know it's buffering up all this stuff and caching all this stuff for the first time. And of course, you got the nice uh, pinch uh, zoom uh, on that. <clears throat> pretty much a convention on uh, these modern devices. <clears throat> Here's the IMDb uh, page loading, you know, real-time loading. Again, caching all these images and all this stuff for the first time, I think the performance is pretty good. I think once I've gone back to it a couple times, you could probably expect it to be even better. So you got the pinching, zooming, panning. Very, very nice. And so that's it. And that's kind of the first, uh, first few minutes with the uh, Kindle Fire, which arrived today. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, exploring it more and sharing more with everybody on video. Bye-bye.